It took me some time to even confirm if this is a genuine payments gateway or not. But hey, they give services to some of the largest corporations. Atom Paynets. Ever heard of it? Keep watching the video and I will cover all major questions you have. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and as usual, you can find the link in the description for Paynets if you want to check it out. So let's start by what Atom Paynets is and why I found it difficult to verify. Atom was a payment gateway acquired by a Japanese company NTT Data which is helping it to scale to international heights by providing its large and extensive support. So now it's a robust and full-fledged payments aggregator. And that's why it was difficult to believe for some time that it got acquired. Talking about features, it boasts 100 plus payment options including big small card supporters, credit cards, debit cards, BNPL, EMI option and all others. Keeping up with latest trends and development, it provides easy retry for payments. For example, it means that entering a wrong OTP will not fail the transaction. It gives another chance to enter the right OTP. The skyrocketing chances of payment. It lets you send bulk invoices in one go and receive payments with links attached to the invoices. It offers Chalan facility for payment collections as well. Has an app support by name of M Gala specifically for India. POS machine and IVR facility is also available. It also features international payments which is of course a must. Enough of features, now let's talk about some of its advantages. User interface is of course one of the top end and nice and clean with modern look. In collections, the good thing is they offer nearly all possible ways including BNPLs. Security is also not a concern as they comply with all the major company protocols and even their systems are equipped with the latest PCI generation. As I saw, their commission rates are also fine. I will talk about it in a few moments. Tech support of the company is also good and as the old saying goes, Japanese demand for quality is excessive. Now let's have a look at their commission rates. Net banking and domestic credit cards are at 2% whereas international cards are at nearly 4%. Amex at 3% with prepaid wallets and EMI are at 2.2%. Debit card are on usual 0.9%. And UPI is of course free. So looking at the price, I would again say these are fine compared to the market. After this long, we still have some considerations to look at. I'm not sure if their customer support is also as good as their website. Their setup costs are something I have not been able to confirm yet. Also, unlike some of the last few reviews, Atom doesn't support tap on phone, which is not a big deal as far as I think. In conclusion, I have a good belief in Atom Payments for being a safe, reliable, less costly and a gateway that a lot of merchants would be happy to have. They have their POS machine as well, so that's an added advantage. So it's a good time especially when Razorpay and Cashfree are not onboarding any new customers for some time. So why not give it a try? So again, if you want to try it out, then you can do so from the description below. But that's been it for today's video. Hope you guys found this video helpful. However, I will be making a full dedicated video comparing all these different plethora of payment gateways in just one video and we'll see which one is the best for you. Now, if it's been done, it will appear here or maybe a random video, you can watch it. That's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.